Welcome back to Speargrass Forge. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you're coming back, thanks for returning. Today, we're going to attempt to make a uh, redneck charcoal kiln. Stick around. Okay, so what we'll be using is a couple of besser blocks, or for those of you that are stateside cinder blocks, arranged like that, and a couple of bars in to support to, to support the drum on on top. So we have a fire uh, a fire pit in order to provide the heat. Now, way charcoal is made, of course, is burning or heating timber within a, in an oxygen poor environment, so it carburizes. Now, the drum I'll be using is a 44 gallon drum or a 55 for those that are that are in the US. I've already pre-drilled some holes in it. This is using a six and a half meter drill bit. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, is Imperial. Uh, and they're evenly spaced down the, down the drum. Now you'll see some people you know, cut, cut holes in the side and pipe the, pipe the gas because in the, in the process of making uh, charcoal, you pr produce wood gas, which is also flammable. Um, and then they'll pipe that back underneath to help heat the drum. Now, the reason I've, the, this is the most simple design that I could find on the internet, of course. Um, and in the process of heating the wood, the wood gas will actually come out the bottom uh, and, and feed the flame. Now, also when selecting a drum, make sure you get this type of drum. So this is actually, this lid is not sealed to the, uh, to the drum. If I could, only have one hand, so. Um, open her up. If I can, if I can open it up. Now this drum's never been fired before, so when I fire it this time, it, it will prob, it will likely set off some fumes. So I've set it far enough away from my workshop and everything like that to uh, make sure that no one gets poisoned. Um, so the drum, as you can see, the lid comes off. Uh, that will be secured on after the drum is filled and on top um, with a bolt just to keep it closed, keep it nice and sealed, keep that oxygen out. So, all I've got to do now is get some firewood set her up and uh, we'll be rip roaring to go. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back. So, filled up the 44 with timber, a couple of gaps there, but that'll do for now. This is, this is my first test run. So I've got the uh, timber underneath for the fire. Plenty of timber off the side here to uh, fuel it for later on. Apparently it needs to run between three and six hours. So we'll get this going and uh, check on it over the next couple of hours. So as you can see, I've got it set up so that it can't, if it decides to go pop, it's going to... Uh, not hit anything so yeah anyway here we uh here we go just gonna get that lighted i'll be back in just a moment okay so now it's lit and it's going as you can see burning nice and well so we'll leave it for the next couple of hours come back and check on it and uh we'll go from there See you shortly. Okay, so I've taken the outer ring off. Now I've just got to actually pop the um, the actual lid, and it's going to be exceptionally hard to do with one hand. I can see it now. Oh no, maybe. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it's worked this time. I probably didn't cook hard enough. Now if you can see in there at the moment, just peel off this seal. Got hot enough to melt the rubber on there, that's for sure. Figure it out, I'd say. Yep. Yep, no. It doesn't look like it's uh, charcoaled up, so I'm going to have to uh, reset and uh, start again. So, re reseal it. 
Looks like it started too, but obviously it didn't have it hot enough. So um, that's uh, unfortunately uh, that was a bit of a fail. So I'm going to seal her up. Um, okay. So what happened was um, I heated it up, uh, kept the firewood, but it kept burning down. We also had a bit of rain while it was actually um, uh, cooking. So as a result, um, obviously it didn't get hot enough. So what I'm going to do next time is I'm going to um, Put some, I'll, I'll leave this timber in here and reseal it back up, but put, uh, when I put the firewood under, I'll probably hook up a blower or some sort of um, uh, device to, to blow air into it to um, get it a bit hotter and um, go from there, see how it goes next time. So thanks for watching uh, and uh, if, you ha if, you, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As you can see, uh, I record all my, uh, all my successes and failures. <laughs> so. Um, Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.